Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the channel and welcome to part two of the predictions for next season. I have let FIFA do its thing and simulate it to the end of the season. We're just going to have a quick look at everyone's stats. I don't think Jay-Z's actually went up. Tielemans has though. Vieira, we didn't see it. Nunes, we couldn't see his. Cucurella stayed the same. Phillips has stayed the same. Haaland has gone up by two. Timber, uh, Vitinha there. Frankie de Jong, Christian Eriksen stayed at 82. Sven Botman there. Raheem Sterling, still at 87. Fraser Foster and Jed Spence, both at 75. Basuma at 83. Perisic has gone down to an 80. And I also had a look through everyone's teams, and there was only one signing that the game made in January that I thought could possibly happen and might be realistic. And that was Jared Bowen to Manchester United. I think that is a possible... You know, I think that is possible to happen. Whether it will or not, I don't know. But Oh, also Man City. Yeah, Man City bought Alexander Izak, apparently, for some... Fucking reason. Who knows? Here's the Chelsea team. Here's how our signings have served up. Koulibaly and Koundé now both 86 overall. Declan Rice up to an 84. Uh, James and Chilwell up to 86 respectively. 85 for Dembele. Mount at 85. hudson adoy has gone up. Slonina. Uh, did he go up? I don't know. Pulisic has gone up. And uh, yeah, other than that, there we go. Now it is time to look through the standings of all of... The competitions and firstly we'll look at relegated sides we had nottingham forest going down in last place afc bournemouth in 19th and southampton actually in 18th and oh, okay this game's really realistic newcastle united who i think will get seventh next season got 17th brilliant fulham apparently stayed up some sort of miracles happened there and brentford managed to avoid second season syndrome 10th place everton walls ninth aston villa eighth chelsea in seventh Oh dear. Um, Leicester City 6th. Arsenal get themselves 5th. What a surprise. Spurs in 4th. What a surprise. Manchester United sneak 3rd with Liverpool. No surprise in 2nd. And Manchester City winning the league with only 2 losses over the whole season. 12 draws though. Fucking hell. Jesus. Okay. Now that's interesting. Let's go over to the FA Cup. Have a look at the winner here. And it was Manchester United beating West Ham United in the final by two goals to one. Finally finally getting rid of their trophy drought. United beating Liverpool 2-1 in the semis. And West Ham beating Burnley in the other semi-final. And then that was the quarterfinals. Jesus Christ. West Ham beat Man City on the way to the final. Fuck me. That's an interesting one. Uh, we can go to round... You just go through all the rounds. Arsenal out to Wolves. Chelsea out to Everton. What a surprise. Frank Lampard knocking us out. Okay, we'll move on. Carabao Cup. I'm guessing Man City. I was wrong. Manchester United find their way into another final. This time they're losing it to Leicester City by four goals to three. What a final that is. Leicester City winning their first bit of silverware since the FA Cup in 2020, apparently next season. Interesting to see. Man United beating, Jesus Christ, Accrington Stanley in the semi-finals and Leicester getting their way past Wolves. Not too hard a run for Man United by the look of it there. Who do they take? Fulham in the quarters. Fulham in the quarterfinals. Okay, what about the Brighton beating Chelsea? Jesus Christ. Absolutely woeful. Leicester only had to get past Northampton in the in round four there. They're just absolutely awful from everyone. We're going to skip the Super Cup because it's last year's one. Uh, we will have a look at the Europa League. Uh, won by Real Sociedad. Um, oh, shit, there's the Conference League. We'll look at that after because apparently it's closer to the Champions League final. So it's more important, apparently. Who knows? I don't get it. But Real Sociedad winning the Europa League final. I'm not sure how many of these I actually remember to change. I don't think it is very many. But, yeah, Real Sociedad managing to win it with Sevilla losing to them in the semi-finals. Inter managing to get themselves past West Ham who aren't in the Europa League next season, are they? They're in the Conference League. Shit, yeah, I, I didn't change that one. Just imagine West Ham and Man United. Because that's, yeah, just imagine that. And uh, Real Sociedad getting past Europa League FC in Sevilla and going on to win it. Fair enough. Now we can have a look at the Europa Conference League. We can't have a look at the World Cup because it hasn't been played yet. Um, I, suppose I, could, I suppose I could simulate for it. And uh, have a look at the World Cup. Oh, it's Man United have won the conference. Oh, of course they have. Of course. Pretend that's West Ham. Pret <laughs> Just pretend that that's West Ham, all right? West Ham have won the Conference League. 
um, because they'd be swapped around in places. And it's uh, Roma getting to the final of the Conference League for the second year in a row, which means, oh, they won it last year, which means they wouldn't even be in it this year. Jesus, that's terrible. I forgot to change all of the European, European competitions, didn't I? Well, I took Man United out of the Champions League. I know that for a fact, but I managed to forget about the rest. Anyway, they got past Dinamo Zagreb and... Uh, Tarek Muruk, okay, in the semi-finals. You know what, let's just move on from that. Let's go to the Champions League, have a look for the final of that. My predictions, probably City, Liverpool, PSG, or Real Madrid in this one. I, oh, what the, but I'll take it, it's Chelsea over Paris Saint-Germain in the, in the final of the Champions League. What the fuck? A 3-1 win for Chelsea in the final of the Champions League. It seems to be whenever we win the Champions League, we have a shit season in the Prem, and that corresponded here. We managed to come seventh and won the Champions League. That's, Jesus, okay, Chelsea winning the Champions League by three goals to one. Who did we beat in the... Semi-finals, Chelsea getting plus Athletic Club on four goals to two in the semi-finals and Paris Saint-Germain managing to beat Liverpool by two goals to one on aggregate. Semi-finals, Athletic Club plus Dortmund, Chelsea plus Villarreal on 5-1 on aggregate. Liverpool beating Spurs, no surprise there, and Paris Saint-Germain getting their way past Juventus with uh, Paul Pogba there, of course. Um, did I actually remember to switch him? Who knows? I can't, I can't remember. Have they done the World Cup yet or is it... What? How are we looking? Okay, well, we haven't done the World Cup yet. But, you know what, we will, we will simulate. We'll simulate and we'll see how the World Cup went. How about, how about that? I don't know when. This is obviously, they haven't updated it. The World Cup would be taking place in, uh, in December. But uh, this game sucks dick, so they couldn't be bothered updating it to do that. Uh, big surprise, EA couldn't be asked to update their game. Um, but, you know, we might as well predict how the World Cup goes as well. I mean... Fuck it, why not? I'm not actually particularly sure when the World Cup will take place in this game, whether I'll have to sim all the way to the next season or whether the 30th of June will be enough. Let's have a look-see here. I've got to scroll the whole way down. Of course I do. Um, oh, well, we've got to the round of 16. Okay, through to the round of 16. England, Wales. Oh, that's spicy in the round of 16. Spain versus the US. Czech Republic versus Finland. Portugal, Mexico. Belgium, Denmark, Germany, France in the round of 16. Scotland managing to get themselves out of the group stages to face Italy and Brazil versus Austria. No, Argentina. Argentina are looking apparently to go out in in the round of six in the group stage. Sorry, look at go out in the group stage. Argentina out in the group stages of the World Cup. But I mean Chelsea. Two Champions Leagues in three seasons under Thomas Tuchel. It, Chelsea, then Real Madrid, then Chelsea again, according to the game. I wouldn't mind it. I don't think I'd mind coming seventh in the Premier League if we won the Champions League. I, I don't think I'd mind, honestly. Because that gives us Champions League football the next season as well. So seventh wouldn't matter at all in any way. And you'd have the drawing power of being champions of Europe. Even though we didn't use it great last season, only bringing in Lukaku just to... Send him back to Inter for a solid 95 million loss. Um, but we move. Um, so, will it be done? Is it done now? Is it now finished? No, we're still in the round of 16. Apparently, apparently it's it, it's been no time at all. Okay, let's do some simulating. Great. Uh, I suppose we could do... Uh, fuck it. We'll do the Super Cup as well. Why not? We'll simulate past the Super Cup as well. And uh, we'll see the crack there. But yeah, I think I think most of my signings are pretty realistic. The most unrealistic one, of course, being Sterling to Newcastle. But I got I can't see where else he goes, and I can see him leaving Manchester City. So, you know, unless he comes to Chelsea, which I suppose I wouldn't mind, but I think is drastically unlikely. Unless he comes to Chelsea, I I don't see anywhere other than Newcastle for him to actually go off to. Um, but here we go. We'll have a cheeky look at the Super Cup. And it is a one to win for Chelsea to win the Super Cup. That's what we like to see. And uh, we'll have a quick gander at the World Cup. FIFA thinks that the Czech, Re the Czech Republic are going to win the... The Czech Republic, the, the Czech, the fucking Czech Republic. Portugal get third place. The Czech Republic beating the Euros holders, Italy into second, the Czech Republic, who did, they beat Portugal in the semis, Italy beating Denmark, of course, 
England losing to Portugal in the quarterfinals, Czech Republic beating the US, Denmark beating France, and Italy beating Brazil. The US beat Spain, Czech Republic beat Finland, sure, England over Wales, Portugal over Mexico, Brazil hump Australia, Italy beat Scotland, France beat Germany, and then Denmark beat Belgium. That's an interesting one. All right, I suppose I'll see you later on that fucking bombshell. Fuck me.